Looks like all of us will fit. Barely. Let's go, wizard! Come a long way to get here, haven't you? Welcome to Samsara. To our limited perceptions, time is a line from the past to the future, life and death. They look like two different things, but they're not. From outside a mortal vantage point, existence is a flattened circle, a wheel. Raven made the ring of mandala to remind us of that forever. This is Samsara, the center of my people's great work. I sense something very important brought you here. How can we Calamar help? This girl is dying! She needs your help! The chain is why we're here! We need to fill her with the chain's life magic to keep her alive! Why do you want to do that? Death is just a part of the cycle. You have to free your minds. Go talk to our elder. She'll help you. Greetings, stranger. I have seen your coming before in my meditation. You have an amazing aura. Yours is a mighty destiny. You have come to prevent a death. Oh, you do not understand. Life and death are not opposites. They are different segments of the Great Wheel. So why not let this girl die? It is the way. The wheel spins. The matter of her body will nourish new life. This is not to be feared. You don't understand. This isn't just any girl. If she dies, it could mean the end of everything. What do you mean? Let me look into the girl's aura and see if I can see what concerns you so much. This is the raven, child. If she dies, light will be lost forever and the cycle itself will break. I understand now. You must take her to the Cave of Quickening, where the chain focuses the power of life magic. Cole will arrange it. Wizard, I want to consult with the Elder a little more. You go get ready to go. I'll catch up. You convince the Elder? All right, all right, all right. What you're doing must be really important. You need to get to the Cave of Quickening. Here's how it works. Life energy shines from the Temple of Life onto the Great Wheel at the Cave of Quickening. But the wheel moves. At this time, the Cave of Quickening is in the middle of the dying jungles where death energies are strong. You die without protection. You need to be purified. Talk to Gajat in the market. He can help. Dying jungles? Oh, very dangerous. If you want to keep the death magic of the jungles from withering you, you must purify your body and balance the life magic within yourself. I sense powerful energies inside you. You might be strong enough to resist the aura of death, but it's best to be safe and sure. In our hanging gardens, we use sagram seeds. They're ground into dust to rejuvenate blighted soil. They will harmonize your life energies. Go to the gardens and cover yourself in dust from the red, gold, and black urns there. Then return to me.
It is done. Now you are ready to descend into the jungle. The dying jungles are far away. Too far for you to reach them on the ground. Talk to Losa, the wind driver. Her skyboat will take you. All right, wizard, we're ready to go. Lead the way. Wait, I have to do what with magic dust? Oh boy. Keep going, wizard. We'll catch up. I will make sure your friend finds his way to you. Go now, and good luck.